Chris Sewell here, baseball card collector, investor, dealer in that order. Welcome everyone. Today we're going to look at the 20 most valuable hockey cards from the 1980s. Now, the 1980s sort of an interesting decade for hockey. It's really only Tops and OPG that exist throughout the decade and they, they basically you know parallel each other, essentially always looking the same with a, a couple of minor exceptions. You can see the Patrick Waugh rookie here in both his Tops and his OPG. The backs are where there's a, quite a bit of difference. The OPG usually a lot brighter and also has the, uh, the write-up in uh, French as well as English, while the Tops is only in English. Spoiler, all 20 cards on this list are OPG brands and 19 of the 20 are rookie cards. Only one non-rookie card makes the top 20. I get, if you're a hockey card fan, I imagine that would be a pretty easy one to guess. Rules for this list are, as I mentioned, major brands only tops and OPG, so no oddball stuff. We're going to use the average of recent sales of a PSA 9 to determine the ranking, although we'll show the values of the card in a PSA 8 and a PSA 10 as well. And no, no duplicate players, so uh, we're going to get 20 unique players here. Uh, for this one. Opening up our list at number 20 is a card from Cam Neely, uh, who is in the Hall of Fame and a four-time All-Star. Actually had a very short career by NHL standards, played just 13 seasons and retired at the age of uh, just 30. You're looking at his 1985 OPG, his 1987 OPG, and his 1989 tops there, three cards throughout the 80s. His rookie card is from 1984, and the OPG in a PSA 9 sells for $161. You can see the pop count down at the bottom of uh, 550 in there do exist 127 copies of the card in a 10 which sells for uh, just over $600. Number 19 is a player who is 30th all-time in career goals, Michel Goulet, who uh, spent most of, his, most of his career with Quebec but a couple other uh, teams as well. He is in the Hall of Fame and a five-time All-Star. He got his uh, 82 OPG, his 83 OPG, and his 1986 tops there. His rookie from 1980, the OPG sells for $164 in a PSA 9. A uh, pretty low pop count on this card. Just 63 copies exist with only 25 tens. Number 18 is our first defenseman. You won't see a lot of them on here, but Al McInnes and his cards there are 1986 tops, 87 OPG and 88 OPG. Seven-time All-Star. He's in the Hall of Fame, was the uh, league's top defenseman in 1998 and won the Stanley Cup with the Calgary Flames in 1989. Also uh, ranks 16th all-time in career assists. Pretty uh, impressive for a defenseman. His rookie card is 1985 OPG, and uh, that sells for just short of $200 in a PSA 9. You can see a PSA 10 is going for over a grand. And you can get yourself a PSA 8 for uh, just 75 bucks. Number 17 is one of only two goalies to crack the top 20, and that is Grant Fuhr, who is uh, in the Hall of Fame, two-time All-Star, and won four Stanley Cups with the Edmonton Oilers. Also was the 1987 Vesna winner as the league's top goalie. Kind of surprising that there are only two goalies in the top 20, but I guess some of the, the big all-time greats had their rookie cards in uh, in the early 90s. Ed Bell for Martin Brodeur and Dominic Hasek, uh, for example. His rookie card is from 1982, and the OPG in a PSA 9 sells for uh, just short of $200. Number 16 is Dale Howard. Chuck, you're looking at his 83 OPG, his 84 tops, and his 87 OPG. He ranks 20th all-time in career points, uh, career NHL points, and like I believe everybody on this list is in the Hall of Fame. His rookie card from 1982, the OPG sells for $218 in a PSA 9. Very low pop count on that card. You can see only 30 tens exist. That's one of the reasons this goes for uh, over $1,600 in a PSA 10. Number 15, you'll notice the list is heavily weighted towards the early 80s. That's because uh, production started ramping way up in the late 80s. A lot of overproduced cards in the late 80s, and therefore cards are not as valuable as they might otherwise be. One exception to that here is Brett Hall. He's looking at his 89 OPG, his 89 tops, and his 88 tops rookie there on the right. Hall's in the Hall of Fame, three-time All-Star. Actually won two Stanley Cups. He played most of his career with St. Louis, but actually won uh, Stanley Cups later in his career with Dallas and Detroit. He ranks fifth all-time in career NHL goals scored. His OPG rookie in a PSA 9 sells for $222. And uh, the PSA 10 was one of the hottest cards in all the sports card world in the late 80s, early 90s, and it goes for over four grand in a PSA 10. Number 14 is the rookie card of Ron Francis. He got his 84 tops, 85 tops, and 87 OPG in the photo there, two-time Stanley Cup winner. Uh, he's in the Hall of Fame, and he actually ranks second all-time in career NHL assists. I had no idea of that, but it is indeed the case. He is behind only the great one. His rookie card is from 1982, and the OPG sells for 
$228 in a PSA 9. Number 13 goes to Doug Gilmore, is 87 tops, 88 OPG, and 89 OPG there. Ranks 14th all-time in career NHL assists, and along with Al McGinnis, who we saw earlier, won the Stanley Cup with the 1989 Calgary Flames. His 1984 OPG rookie sells for $235 in a PSA 9. Number 12 is the rookie card of Dennis Savard. He got his 84 tops, 83 OPG, and 88 tops there. He's in the Hall of Fame, ranks 25th all-time in career assists, won the uh, Stanley Cup in 1993 with the Montreal Canadiens. His rookie card is 1981 OPG, PSA 9 is going for $237. Look at the really low pop count on that card, just a pop 81, and there are only uh, 18 PSA 10s, and they go for over two grand. Number 11 is Washington Capitals great Mike Gartner. He played, oh, he played, I guess, the first half of his career so with the Capitals. Spent the second half of his, of his career with a bunch of other teams, but certainly most famously known for uh, playing with the Capitals. He ranks eighth all-time in career goals scored in the NHL. His rookie card from 1980, the OPG, sells for $240. Again, pretty low pop count on that card. Just 110 copies of the 9 exist and only 23 copies of the 10. Breaking into the top 10 now, number 10 is Peter Stastny, and you're looking at his 1982 tops, 85 tops, and 1988 OPG. Stastny's in the home Hall of Fame, played most of his career with Quebec. His rookie uh, card is 1981 OPG. It sells for about $275 in a PSA Mint 9 holder. Number 9, I think I said earlier that every player on the list is in the Hall of Fame. I was uh, incorrect about that. There is... One exception, that's number nine, Wendell Clark, who played uh, the majority of his career with Toronto. His uh, card's there, 87 OPG, and then he doesn't have other cards from the late 80s, so had to uh, pull some oddball ones just to, just to be able to fill out three for the photo here. His rookie card from 1986 OPG sells for over $300 in a PSA 9. Very low pop count for a card from 1986. Only 131 copies and only 19 10s, and those go for uh, over two grand. Number eight is another player with the Edmonton Oilers uh, who won a bunch of Stanley Cups in the 1980s. Yari Curry, who won five of them with the team. He is a Hall of Famer, five-time All-Star, and ranks 20th all-time in career goals scored. His rookie card of 1981 OPG in a PSA 9 sells for $440. Number seven is someone who played his entire 22-year career with the same team, the Detroit Red Wings, and that is Steve Eiserman. Hall of Famer, three-time Stanley Cup winner, uh, and he is at the top of a lot of leaderboards. Tenth all-time in career goals scored, ninth all-time in career assists. You see his uh, 1985 tops, his 1987 tops, and his 1989 tops there. His 1984 uh, OPG rookie sells for $718 in a PSA 9. You're going to start seeing some prices jump way up here. PSA 10 is going for close to five grand. only 117 of those out there. Number six is our third member of the Edmonton Oilers teams of the early and mid-1980s that won a bunch of Stanley Cups. Uh, Paul Coffey, defenseman, just the second defenseman to make the list. And it seems like a three is a lot of players to have on one team. Well, there's still two more to come up. Uh, Coffey had won four Stanley Cups with the team. He's in the Hall of Fame, and he's also an eight-time All-Star. His rookie card is from 1981, the 1981 OPG, selling for $776 in a PSA 9. A uh, really low pop count on the PSA 10, which goes for six grand, just 24 copies in existence. PSA 8s you can have for about 200 bucks. Number five, our second and final goalie to crack the top 20, that is Patrick Waugh. And you're looking at his 1987 tops, 88 tops, and 89 OPG. A Hall of Famer, four-time Stanley Cup winner, three-time Vesna winner, and six-time All-Star. Waugh would be at the top of most experts list for greatest goalie of all time if not uh, number one. His 1986 OPG rookie sells for over a grand in a PSA 9, $1,380 uh, to be exact, and a PSA 10, which of which there are 88 copies, sells for close to $9,000. Number four is our third and final defenseman to make the list, Ray Bork. He got his 82 OPG, his 84 tops, and his 88 OPG there. Five-time Norris winner for being the league's top defenseman and incredibly a 19-time All-Star he ranks third all-time in career plus-minus as well as fourth all-time in career assists. His 1980 OPG rookie sells for $1,500 plus in a PSA 9, 
and PSA 10s cross into five figures, you're going to need to sell one of your used Toyota Camrys to pick one of those up at $12,900. Number three is yet another Edmonton Oiler. Like I said earlier, they have five of the top 20 spots uh, are Edmonton Oilers. Pretty incredible, 25%. Mark Messier, he got his 82 OPG, 83 OPG, and 87 OPG. Long list of accomplishments for Messier. Six-time Stanley Cup winner, five-time All-Star. He uh, ranks ninth all-time in career goals and third all-time in career assists. His rookie card, 1980 OPG, is actually an error, uh, but it's an uncorrected error, but the back says he shoots right well, in fact, he is a left-handed shooter. Uh, $1,690 is what it'll cost you to get yourself a copy of this in a PSA 9. And you can see PSA 10s again well into uh, five figures. Now, if you're a hockey fan, you've probably already figured out who number two and one are. But the question is, what's the order? Well, number two is our fifth and final Edmonton Oiler, Wayne Gretzky, the great one, uh, who most would say is the greatest hockey player of all time. He got his 82 OPG, his 84 tops, and his 88 uh, OP. Sorry, his 88 tops there on the right when he got traded to the Los Angeles Kings. Gretzky's got a million accomplishments. Let's list a few of them here: 15-time All-Star, four-time Stanley Cup winner. His, he is a nine-time League MVP and is the all-time leader in goals, assists, and many other categories. His rookie card is the Holy Grail of hockey cards, but it's from 1979, so it doesn't make the uh, 1980s list. We have to go with his second-year card. 1980 OPG, which sells for $2,660 in a PSA 9. And look at that PSA 10 price, uh, 29 grand for a gem mint copy. Which brings us to number one, Super Mario, Mario Lemieux. He got his 86 tops, 87 tops, and 89 OPG there. 10-time All-Star, 3-time League MVP, 2-time Stanley Cup winner. He ranks 11th all-time in goals, 12th all-time in career assists. And that's despite missing three seasons in his early 30s. His 1985 OPG rookie is the most valuable hockey card from the 1980s, selling for $3,370 in a PSA 9. And look at that PSA 10 sale. A used Toyota Camry is not going to get the job done for that. You might need to sell your brand new Tesla in order to afford a PSA 10 copy of the Mario Lemieux rookie. But that's it. Thank you, everyone, for watching the top 20 most valuable hockey cards from the 1980s, which included 19 Hall of Famers, Wendell Clark being the only exception, and 19 rookie cards, the Wayne Gretzky second year being the only exception there. Hope you all enjoyed. Stay safe. Have a great day, and see you all again real soon. Thanks, everyone.